Hello YouTubers, this is Eric from Easy Computer Solution, and it's benchmark time between the LG V10 versus the Galaxy S6 Edge Plus. Let's go. Hello guys, this is Eric again with another video, and so today we're going to do benchmarking between the LG V10 and the Galaxy S6 Edge Plus. So in this uh, benchmarking test, we're gonna run an 2-2 benchmark, we're gonna run 3D mark, we're gonna run GFX benchmark, uh, we're gonna run Geekbench 3. So let's go. First of all, we wanna make sure we don't have anything running in the background, so that's clear. So let's go on and run on 2-2. Both of these devices have the clean install. Uh, this, the uh, Galaxy S6 Edge Plus is running the Samsung uh, octa-core processor with four gigabytes of RAM. The uh, LG V10 is running the Snapdragon 808 processor with four gigs of RAM. So, all right, should be a fair competition here. Let's go on and run the test. Boom. Now both devices are sporting the 5.7 inch screen. Remember that the LG V10 is running the secondary screen at the top. So we're gonna see how it benchmark. So right now, as you can see, that the LG V10 is ahead of the uh, Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge Plus. So uh, both devices right now is running pretty smooth. Uh, don't see any drop frames at this point. Uh, I can see that the the, uh, the LG V10, let's see what we run it per second, look like uh, 34 frames per second, if you look at that, versus the uh, Galaxy S6 Edge Plus is running, look like 55 frames per second. All right, so the LG V10 is done with the benchmark test. Uh, we have a score here of 52149. Kind of put that in the camera for you. All right, which the HTC M9 is beating it, and we are waiting for um, this device to finish. Okay, so let's put these in perspective. The Galaxy S6 Edge Plus is running 70,544, that's 70,544 versus uh, 52,149. So uh, in the benchmark test, the Galaxy S6 Edge Plus is the big daddy, the boss of both of these devices. All right, so the next test we're gonna run is 3D Mark and three, two, one, boom. Now looking at both screens, I can tell you that the Galaxy S6 Edge Plus screen, in my opinion, is a lot more vibrant with the AMOLED screen. I mean, it's gorgeous compared to the LG V10. So overall, it's not a dog fight. Be on the lookout for that video. So I think that the Galaxy S6 Edge Plus screen looks a little more quality. The detail and all the text is really, really better on this device versus the LG V10. All right, so we're gonna run Slingshot using ES 3.1. All right. Now this is a very, very intensive test. It's gonna test a lot. Uh, strong GPU and CPU uh, to see which device that does a good job. All right, so at this time, the Galaxy S6 Edge Plus is running about four frames per second and the LG V10 is running four frames per second. Both of them pretty much struggling on this uh, test starting it out uh, at four frames per second. So again, I like this test. This test really does put a lot on the GPU and the CPU at this time. So as you can tell that both devices are struggling uh, when it comes down to this test. That's why I like running this test. So the Galaxy S6 Edge Plus is finished with a score of 12 56 right here 1256 uh, and the 
LG V10 guys is running wow 512 um so overall the Galaxy S6 Edge Plus running the Octa Samsung Octa-Core processor blows the pants off of the LG V10 I am so shocked at this low score from the LG V10 so guys check that out all right wow okay so let's go close this out let's GFX benchmark so right now the Galaxy S6 Edge Plus is blowing the pants off of the LG V10 okay so for the most part the LG V10 is not the powerhouse even though it has the, the Snapdragon 808 processor it's not the big powerhouse that we thought it was a test all right so as this runs uh, I mean, I'm, I'm letting it run all the tests right now so let's do a temperature check uh, the LG V10 right now is a little warm and the Galaxy S6 Edge Plus man I, it's listen surprisingly this phone is cool to the touch I mean this phone is not hot at all and this phone right now is definitely warm okay guys so the benchmark test is done and let's go down and look at our scores here and it's surprisingly surprisingly these scores is uh, surprisingly uh, not good for the LG V10 and so we know the trend here the Galaxy S6 Edge Plus dominated the uh, LG V10 even with the 808 processor I'm surprised if you look at the T-Rex um, here the T-Rex we, we got 52 frames per second on the Galaxy S6 Edge Plus versus 24 frames per second so there are the uh, GFX OpenGL benchmark test so the Galaxy S6 Edge Plus again dominated with the octa-core processor again I understand it's the 808 processor but I am shocked that some of the scores that I'm seeing on the LG V10 and also that it is a total heater uh, coming from this device right now uh, and uh, the Galaxy S6 Edge Plus is it's warm but it's not hot I mean this is I am shocked at the temperature between both devices this device is definitely hot to the touch this device is cool so for the most part there you have it on that uh, benchmark and last but not least we're going to run the G the Geekbench 3 uh, test right now Alright, so it's both it telling you what kind of chipsets that, that it has. Um, the octa core processor is clocked at 1.5 gigahertz, and the uh, 808 is clocked at 1.4 gigahertz. Also, we got the Adreno 418 and the V10 versus the Mali uh, T760 and the Galaxy S6 Edge Plus versus uh, and uh, the RAM, of course. Uh, DDR4 versus DDR3. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead on and run this benchmark. Alright, so we are all done here, and the Galaxy S6 Edge Plus ran a single uh, core score of 1469 versus a multi core core score of 4988, and the LG V10 ran a single core score of 1009 versus a multi core score of 3473. All right, so that ends that. For the most part, my overall thought that the, I, I was shocked that the uh, the Snapdragon 808 processor uh, clocked at 1.4 gigahertz uh, was running that slow. Uh, but as far as benchmarking, and that's not real world use, that's only benchmarking. So uh, for the most part, we're talking about two different chipsets. So that's that uh, you have to take that into account. That. that this device has more cores in it, so of course the device should score higher. But I was shocked at some of the benchmark scores that this device have. And also, looking at the T-Rex 
and the stuttering with two frames per second on some of the benchmark tests. I am really shocked. I would have to pull out uh, some of my older device with the Snapdragon 805 and 801 processor and run some benchmark tests uh, and see if they score pretty well with the LG V10. All right, so for the most part, the winner of this, obviously, is the, is the Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge Plus. This is Eric from Easy Computer Solutions. Leave your comment down below what you think about these tests. I know it's a kind of an unbalanced, unfair comparison, but it's apples with apples. 2015 versus 2015. Flagship versus flagship. So we got two flagship devices here. I know they run running two different chipsets, but LG made the decision to go with the 808 processor versus uh, Samsung went all out with the latest and greatest high-end processor with the best RAM on the market. Again, this is Eric. Leave a comment. See you on the next video. Peace.